Welcome to this video where I'm going to be giving you two chat GPT prompts that are going to blow you away. Both of these chat GPT prompts are perfect uses of chat GPT for SEO. If you want to follow along with this video, please go to the description where you will find this article where I'm going to show you exactly how I am doing what I'm doing. But without any ad further ado, let's go to ChatGPT. This is, of course, ChatGPT Premium. And the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating content with internal links already inside it. This is something that I've been really, really excited to bring to you guys. And yeah, let's just see how this actually works. So let's go to the, um, the, the website, my website. And let's just copy and paste the prompt. Let's have a quick look at the prompt. Let's have a look at it here. So, write a blog post. Include as internal links using markdown hyperlink keywords using links as the ahref. Might not make sense to you, but there should be at least six internal links. Use keyword rich anchor text. The article is, and then you can make up whatever article you want to write about. You can write about the following brands, okay? This is the most important part of my process right here, okay? So if you want to read the rest of the prompt, uh, you can write about the following brands. Kiton, Sartorial Company with top-class Neapolitan tailored suits that include four-season fabrics. Cesare Ettolini for their beautiful handmade Sartorial suits. Sartorio Napoli for their use of modern fabrics such as mohair and EA together to offer a unique four-season suit experience. Uh, Boss for their Italian cut, even though they are a German brand, they also use virgin wool, wool, which is a great four season fabric. Okay, so you are the expert on what you're selling. You are the expert on your website. You have to give chat GPT the information that it needs. Okay, if you are just saying write an article about four season suits and not giving it any extra information, the output that you're going to get is going to be really, really bad, okay? But because I give so much detail in my inputs, the output is very, very good. At the bottom of this article, I've got a, the kind of six or seven or eight links that I want it to include, and I'm going to press enter. One of two things will happen here. Number one is you can see already that it doesn't, it's not using markdown, okay? So I want it to create markdown. So what you can actually do is you can stop it, okay? And you can start it again by saying, please remember to use markdown formatting. So when I press enter now, it should. Yeah, there we go. So now this is H1. Okay, so this is a bonus little tip that I was going to talk about later on in this video, but I'll talk about it now instead. Bonus little tip. If it's not doing what you want, you can stop generating and you can say, why are you not doing that? So let's see if they're actually, there it is. Okay, boom. Look at that. Check out the latest kit on suits. Click there. Guess what? It takes me straight to the kit on suits. That is so cool, guys. That's going to save me so much time overall. I'm already creating way more content because of this. I know that my last video was about internal links using a script. This is using ChatGPT directly, okay? And what you can do is, and this is really, really beautiful for me specifically, is you can copy and paste this directly into Shopify, okay? I'm gonna do it into Google Documents just because I haven't got um, Shopify here, okay? But you can see these are links, okay? And they are in the content and I haven't done anything, okay? That is such a time saver. It's really, really interesting as well that it can even do this. So yeah, look, that's uh, a lot of links there. That's a lot of links that it's put in. One, two, three, four, five, six links, okay? Some of them, like you could say it's missing the kit on link, okay? So you could ask it to write the content again, and this time link the brands as well as the brand plus suit, okay? It actually looks like, yeah, no, it, it's, it's linked the kit on suits, but for some reason it's linked to Cesare Atalini brand. These are all kind of things that you can work on yourselves, guys. This is the first prompt. This will save you so much time overall. You can copy and paste this directly into Shopify or whatever CMS you're using. And it's a really good way to shape the article with the prompt. 
ChatGPT is basically like having a really good writer that you can tell exactly what you want and it will write it for you, okay? That is the first prompt. Let's talk about the second prompt. Oh, just before we move on to the second prompt, let me just show you something. Italian uh, white sneaker brands. Look at that. Just look at that. I wrote this blog post exactly the same way that you just saw me. In fact, if I click on here, you can see that it should be one of these. Should be this one, I think. Yeah, look. Best Italian white sneaker brands. This was today. I did this while at work today before I went home sick, okay? You probably can't tell, but I'm actually sick. I wrote this article today, and it's already here. That's a, that's a joke, okay? That's honestly a joke. It's ranking better than my other article that I wrote months ago. I think this is like a year old, this article. I have no idea when I actually released this article, but I think it's about... It's at least six months old. I know it says July 2022, but that's because we moved to a new website in 2022. Insane. Honestly, completely crazy. See where this is in your country, okay? Italian white sneaker brands. I'm not saying this is an amazing keyword or anything like that. I'm just saying it's incredible that it's already ranking on page one on Google. I posted this today, okay? Okay, to show the power of the second prompt, and before I show you actually how to do it, let's take a quick look at what I'm doing with this prompt and why I think this is such a good idea. Okay, that's a new record, guys. Uh, quick update on two men. We are, holy crap, 1,200 bigger than the previous. That's insane. Normally it's about 700. Anyway. Let's do a filter, let's do page, and let's type in pages, okay? Let's see how this is actually working. Okay, so it, it was working really, really well, and then it went down a little bit, which is fine. That's perfectly normal. But what I've actually been doing is I've been creating F... Um, sorry, not FAQ. Glossary pages, okay? And the reason that I've done that is because I was just thinking, how can I add a lot of very quick content onto the website, Okay. And yeah, it turns out you can very, very quickly, very, very easily make a page like this. And then at the bottom of the page, all I did was I added some links, to, uh, a link to the homepage, a link to Kiton, and a link to Cesare Tellini. And for some reason, just a button label, which I definitely need to change. But the important thing is all of these pages, if one of these pages starts to rank really well, it will give power to Kiton and Cesare Tellini, okay? That's the reason that I've done this. And you can see that it's working fairly well. I mean, I posted these maybe a week ago. Okay, so it's already ranking fairly well. Let's talk about how I actually made these pages and why I'm talking about ChatGPT in this context. So if you go to my website, second prompt, what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be creating a table which can be very easily put into Shopify using something called Matrixify. I'm probably not going to go into too many details about Ma Matrixify, or whatever it's called, in this video, but just know that you can do 10 um, unlimited, up to 10 pages per spreadsheet, and you can automatically upload them onto your Shopify store. This will be possible also with WordPress. I'm just talking about Shopify. I just wanted to mention Matrixify quickly. Let's see how this actually works. So let's click on new chat. I don't even think I have to, but that's fine. Let's read the, um, the prompt. So create a table. The column should be one handle, which is URL slug, two title, and, and then I put in brackets, write what is A for the title. Okay, that'll make sense in a second. Three, body HTML. Okay, it has to be HTML. Title tag for Google and meta description for Google. The second column should be written in HTML, for example, with P tags. And then at the bottom, I've just given, you can get this from a website, you can get this from a dictionary, whatever you want to do. And these are basically just glossary pages, okay? Or they will be. Once I hit enter, you'll see that ChatGPT will instantly commence and it will create something pretty special. I'll give this a second to load. 
Okay, so let's go back to what I was talking about before. You can see here in the title, it's also added P tags. Okay, so I've I've stopped it and I said, please do not add P tags to the title. Let's see if that works. Apologies for the mistake. Here's the corrected table, and then it should create the table properly. Accessories. What are accessories? Sometimes. Okay, so now it's removed the HTML from the body. So we're going to stop again and say, please don't forget to use e tags in the body column. Let's see if that works. Sometimes you've got to be a little bit careful with um, with ChatGPT. Okay, it, it has a mind of its own. Literally. The first time I've actually said literally in that context. There we go. Okay, it's working. So, these are very quick, very simple pages that you can use to add more content and more internal links to your website. Literally, all you have to do is you have to download a template from Matrixify. Let's see if we can just do this while it's writing. So, Matrixify, template for pages, Shopify. Templates. No, that's not what we wanted. Okay, this is it. It's actually, yeah, okay, pay, there we go, download. And then we're gonna add this to a Google Sheet. I'll show you how to do this quickly, just in case people are curious. I may as well, while ChatGPT is finishing writing the content. So we'll click here, click upload, drag and drop this. This will then add the spreadsheet into the um, into Google Sheets. And literally, it's, it's this simple, okay? First of all, you need to make a, um, a template okay so my template on my website is called glossary i'm not going to go too much into detail in this video about how to do this exactly but then you can see that my names here are the same as these names here okay so what we can do is let's say we're going up to this point so you want to do Control shift v to paste it without formatting then literally we just need to stick this here, stick this here, put this in the title, put this as the body, put this as true for all of them, put this as published, glossary like this. Uh, 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 delete this so that I can see the rest of the content. Put these in the meta field title and put these in the meta field description. You can now download this and automatically import it into your store. Okay. And the results speak for themselves. This does actually work and it will increase the overall SEO of your website. Because the more content you have, the better you will rank overall. That's it, guys. I really wanted to make this video to describe in a little bit of detail these two amazing prompts which are changing the way that I do SEO using ChatGPT. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.